Indians are a very interesting breed of people. You would think that, oh, this is in Majinjiri, those two bridges that have collapsed. You would think that being cut off from the rest of the town and also seeing your tax money collapsing, literally being washed away, would uh, be a cause for concern, to be angry maybe. You know, there, there would be some kind of reaction that would not be positive. But no, you're seeing people cheering for some reason. Why they're cheering, I honestly couldn't tell you. I think we don't have enough entertainment in this country. So any kind of destruction is seen as entertainment. I don't know what it is. I, I really couldn't explain it to you. What I know is that if it were me and it's my tax money being washed away by a river, I would be upset. I don't really see how I would be cheering at that. It means the city council is going to use more of my money to build something that should have lasted anyway, and they're just going to use... It's a waste of resources, you know what I mean? Now, I'm also hearing there's no electricity in Lilongwe. <laughs> People are going without power because power generation has been affected by the rains as well apparently debris is falling into the turbines this happens every rainy season you would think they have a fail safe for this but apparently they do not i don't know i really don't know what's going on anymore you know one of the main problems with malawi is we as a people do not take ourselves seriously i mean would serious people be whistling and cheering at a bridge falling would we be allowing ESCOM to have these 24-hour power cuts because of a little bit of rain? If we were serious, would we allow that? I mean, we can't keep on blaming leaders and leadership. At some point, when you're being led, you're choosing to follow. You understand me? How are we choosing to follow such inept leadership? We should be doing something about it.